Hello and welcome to one of the Tech Byte video by CMG. My name is Reza Malakuti, and in this video, I would like to show you the Gem Leda Flow coupling link, which has been recently developed as part of the collaboration between Carnesberg and CMG to facilitate the integration between Compositional Reservoir Gem Simulator and Transient Leda Flow Wellbore model. In this video, I would mainly looking at the steps and also the workflow of such an integration between GEM and LEDOFLOW. Before we look at the interface of the link, let us go through the both GEM and LEDOFLOW models that we have been already prepared them for this uh, demonstration. Here in Builder, I am showing the reservoir GEM model, which is a typical depleted gas formation with a very low pressure and here it's a location of the CO2 injector in this model. The idea of this demonstration is to simulate an injection period of the CO2 from this well to this uh, depleted gas formation. From the IK view cross section here we can see the perforated layers in gem from the top to the bottom in this well and we can also see the refined grid blocks around the wellbore to capture a better resolution of the transient effects near the wellbore area. Here in the LEDAFLOW interface, we can see the model uh, that we have prepared for this uh, wellbore. You can see the bottom hole point up to the wellhead location and the trajectory of the well from the lower section here shows its uh, typical vertical well. Near the wellhead we have placed a valve to open and close the wellbore and we have also used an inflow zone device in here to make the communication and coupling with GEM. Before we integrate this LEDA flow to GEM, we need to make sure that our LEDA flow model has been initialized successfully in LEDA flow. To do this, you go to this option initialize and run in here, click on that, and then only check the box for the initialize, and hit the button initialize. After that, you would see that the status of the case has been changed to the initialized here. In order to get access to the link tool, you go to the CMG launcher and here you open the current version of this tool, which is 2024.10. Double click on that. When you see the main interface, in order to start a new project, you go to the file and then click on the new case. On the left hand side, you will see a couple of sections which requires the input. The first section called models. In there, you, we need to import the CMG model and the LEDA flow model. Let's add CMG first. Go to the directory where you have saved your gem dataset that file. And then open that. And make sure from the settings in here, you are using the right version of the GEM simulator for this coupling. Currently, it is this version. And then you can also decide about the number of the CPU in case you would like to do the parallel simulation for your GEM run. Click OK. And then go to the Add LEDA Flow to import the LEDA Flow models. From the library in here, which is giving you the access to the old LEDAFLOW models in its database, choose the uh, correct LEDAFLOW model, the one that we just initialized now. Click OK. Here you can also see the case ID next to the LEDAFLOW model that can be cross-checked with the case ID of that model in LEDAFLOW. <coughs> if you right-click on the case in LEDAFLOW, and then showcase ID. You can ensure that you are looking at the same LEDAFLOW model both in your interface of the LEDAFLOW and the link tool in here. Let me go back to the tool again. 
The next section is wells. You go to that part. In here, if you have the same naming for your both wells in Leatherflow and Gem, the tool will be coupled those two wells automatically and write those information in here. But in the case that you have different names, like in this example, you can go to the pair wells and then choose your corresponding well from each model. And after that, click on add and then pair the wells together. Click OK. And then move to the next section, which is controller. Here to make the run simulation active, you need uh, to save as the model first. Click save as. Choose a name for your project and then click save. Now you can see it is active. Before we run the simulation, we need to decide about the time step sizing and the frequency of that handshaking between the leather flow and gem. There are two approaches in here. The first approach you would use the fixed time step size, but the second approach is the variable controller time stepping. If you check that box, you can go to the variable controller time settings here and then decide about different frequency throughout the simulation that you want to use. This option allows you to switch from the transient to the pseudo steady state on a user defined schedule. Let me cancel this window and uncheck this box and use the first approach in this example. So here I'm gonna use the 60 seconds for the time step size and the number of the time step I would change to the 150. As you can see, the tool will automatically calculate the coupling duration after you define these inputs here. Now we can run the simulation and couple the gem and leather flow together. When you hit the run, there would be two log file windows in here. One would be for leather flow and the other one for gem. And that communication would take place between leather flow and gem in order to produce the results. I let the simulation to run to completion so we can have a look at the final results of this case. To visualize the results here, you go to the results section and then we're gonna have four main parameters to visualize. The first one would be the gas rate standard conditions. That's the CO2 gas injection rate, uh, which is uh, converged in leather flow and then it would be passed to uh, GEM as a main operational rate constraint for the well. Then the well bottom hole pressure in, he in here we can see quite a reasonable match between the estimated well bottom hole pressure required for that injection rate, both by leather flow and gem. The third parameter is the well block pressure here, which is the uh, block pressure at the reference layer in, in gem. And then the final output would be the well bottom hole uh, temperature injection and that's the injected temperature of the CO2 at the bottom hole into the uh, GEM model. So with this, we end the uh, video of uh, this demonstration of the coupling link tool here. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and you have found it quite helpful. Thank you for watching.